Hello and welcome back to Beast of Winter. We are in the Drowned Kingdom. Be right there. And we're finding out what happened to the king here and what happened to the lost city of Okaizo. Yeah, so all sorts of very meaningful things for, like, the whole history of the dead fire. Statue is crusted in barnacles and coral. Okay, where does this take us? So each of these teleports us somewhere. It teleports us above. Now we know that we can change where the water goes here, but we don't need to. Okay, that's fine. There's not really much of a puzzle, because we'll just click this one. The only one we can click. Okay. So that changes this water, being here. Reverses its flow. We can now head down into that bit and get the next soul fragment. Okay. I think I see how these are going to be panning out. I wonder what other areas we're going to visit and whether they're all in the dead fire. Hmm. It'd be interesting if we get to go back to Edir, uh, to Edir or something like that, or go to um, Old Valia. Anyway. Uh, the Wisp of the Soul Essence blocks your path. It extends tentative tendrils towards you, sensing a bit of itself within your own soul. It yearns to be joined with that sliver again, and you cannot help but let it. You unfurl the map of your empire down the length of your grand feasting table. The outlander gasps as you show him its boundaries which stretch to the edges of the world. He exclaims as you enumerate the many kith subjects to your sovereignty. Your son babbles on your knee and the outlander smiles. He insists that the gods must favour you to have given you so large a domain and so bright an air. You agree. The gods have blessed you indeed. The wisp of silence clings to the others within your soul, radiating unease. Hmm. Things did not go so well, I'm guessing. Okay. So, we could change the water flow, but I want to see where this one leads first. So that's got to be right below us, right? Yeah, got to be down here. Okay. Ooh, there's something, there's something at that statue. Interesting. What if we go over here? We got a lot of could writing. Oh, and a scourge. Right. Kill it. Uh, I hate what just happened there. That's real bad. Okay, cloak of death. Yeah. Nuh -uh, didn't That's work. Fine. It doesn't appear to have done anything to these two. That's unfortunate. Um, anything else we can do for a loth here? Guess we can get him to use his uh, paralyzing thing. Where are we? We're in there somewhere. Hmm. Wait, do we have our dagger out? That might be a problem. Yeah, well, we're not being engaged on. We'll go hit the berserker with our uh, blind. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we'll get Zoti to use uh, consecrated ground. Okay. Alright. Oh, those two are now. Well, one of those two is now gone, which is nice. <laughs> And we I'll now got rid of that one. We can move same. back. That guy's now back. Okay, I see how these work now. Alright, we'll hit that Lava in there. Will be on seek. I reap that what I sow. between everything. Nice. Oh, I don't know what this is and I hate it. Just from the look of it. Uh, heal everybody. Self heal yourself, Paladina. Ah. Okay, no, reduced healing, but so that's okay. Ha. Uh, who did I just tell to move? Uh, uh, oh, that's Palagina. Yeah, she can continue hitting the Scourge. That's fine. Um, these are shocking touch, Lava, which we haven't Lava, used in a while. Sick. Don't think we have any engage on us. Uh, actually, we totally do have engage on us. We're engaged by that guy, right? So, um, try and kill him. How do you like that? Nice. Don't know what this is, but. Also, not sure. Some sort of grass thing. Okay, almost got the berserker. Nice, he actually disappeared out of existence for a second there. That was good. Another hit will be a kill. Nice. Now we can turn back to hit this guy. Uh, we'll go for a blind, because that'll do raw damage over time. That's it! Nice. Ooh, wow, the Wall of Thorns I'm not too fond of. That must be one he just cast, or... Oh, it's one the Water Shaper cast at the back there. Hmm. Okay. 
Uh, self heal. Well, not self. Well, heal on everybody. It's fine. Um, we got anything we can cast in this guy to take him down? A crushing damage. We could try our missiles. I mean, he does have armor, which is probably gonna block him. But we'll try it. Bullseye. It did damage. It wasn't a lot of damage, but it did damage. Uh, maybe cast that there. I'm nice. fixing to be sick. Wait, uh, retarget. Just make sure that doesn't hit the right target. Make sure it doesn't hit the wrong target there. That current slot, that's gonna hit Zoti. Why I'm a little annoyed that we can't target this right, but okay. There? Can't can't hit there. And we can't cast it off the edge. Alright, it's gonna hit Zoti. That's fine. That looks like it. Ooh, that doesn't look good. Heal? Curses! Ah! Okay, the, no! that's hitting Eddie no, actually, which work. is fine. Eddie was absolutely okay to hit. Uh, we need to teleport out of there. Yeah. Nice. Switch to our bow. Head out. That's it. And then we can start shooting back in again. Uh, try and kill it. Might be able to. Okay. Uh, chain lightning. That'll only hit enemies, which is good. Uh, and they're weak to lightning. <laughs> I'm fixing nice. to be sick. That's good. That's good. Another chain lightning. Although I think there's only one of them <laughs> left. <laughs> Fine. Oh, there's a wall up in. He's dead. Okay. Well, we survived that without taking any more injuries. I did notice we have one on right now, so we might actually rest. Indeed. Uh, grab the loot there. Nice. What have we got? In the pool of water, we got stuff. Okay. Cool. I like stuff. Little quick save, and uh, we'll rest with our fire kelp. Okay. Right, where does this lead? It's up here, okay. Just to an urn. That's fine, we'll head back down again then. Hmm. Thought I saw something over this corner. Maybe I'm imagining things? Nah, I probably just saw one of them fade back in. Okay. Ah, but the water blocks us from being able to access that portal. Okay, I see. Ooh, something in the wall? Consider it done. We got it. Okay. There's another one over here, which is what's confusing me. Hmm. Oh well. We shouldn't be I don't think we're kicked out of the area if we don't solve it. So if it is an optional bit, we'll head back and do it. Right. Hit that? We Sorry, can't friend. hit that because of where the water is. Okay. Interesting, interesting. Well, we may need to go back and do some uh, fiddling around. That's okay. I oh, see. Let's just have a look at this one over here first. Wait. I just want to move the map. So that means I need the first area to be filled up. Which means I need this one to be clicked. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. Okay. Um, yeah, sure. That's fine. Right, so we'll head up this way. Then we'll click this one. Okay, Let's see where this takes us as well. Give me a real challenge. So this one, I'm gonna do what? That reverses the water. Oh, that reverses the water flow around there. Oh, never mind. Well, that's fine then. That just works. Oh, but it raised the water flow around the void gate. Okay. We need to click it, then redo the water here. Okay, that's fine. Uh, just checking, actually. Do we know if large water... Do we know... We don't know about large waterfall yet. Okay, that's fine. We can't remove that bit. So that must be the way out through there, which makes sense because it looks like the end. Okay, so actually I think most of these are just click on every single one you come across. Which makes sense, I guess. Not really a puzzle Watch game, so you don't expect too difficult puzzles in it. That one... Lowers that water. Now we can access it. Why did it point us to there? 
Hey there. Not 100 percent sure, but okay. Right, teleport down again. Wonder why they felt the need to put in the animation Leave it each to me. time. Okay. Wandering soul. Okay. Wandering clump of soul essence waits for you on the path. When it senses the pieces of itself all ready within you, it rushes to join them. Your people wave and shout your name as you tour the outlander around your city. You come to value his counsel even more even than your own advisors, for he would not see you fettered by ceremony and polities as they would. He's requested a site in the center of the city on which he might build a contraption. His people are soul shapers, he explains, and they found a way to commune with the gods. They need only a place worthy of the gods' power from which to do it. You're only too happy to oblige. A clump of soul stuff mingles with the bits of itself you already hold. A sharp pain pierces your chest. Fear, not yours, but the soul's. It cannot stand to be alone, but neither does it want to be whole. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Wondering if the Gwithin sacrificed someone. Oh, right. We're in a different area now. Okay. Interesting. So that whole area is unaccessible. There. The Scourge, get it. Please don't summon more of those That's things. That's it! What are the Wardens of the K? Week 2, electrical damage. Okay, well. You know what to do, Aloth. Start casting. Uh, don't stop. Lava. Gotta have something here that works. Yeah. Zoti, uh, just use your uh, base heal. Fine, we'll continue chucking in lightning. Maybe chuck on that one this time. Lava will be on sick. Although I don't think it matters. Okay, um, Zoti, cast yourself. Oh, you still haven't cast your first one. Okay, never mind. Um, lightning didn't seem to do too much, unless these guys just have a ton of health. Right, um, raw damage on the big guy. Followed by CC on the small ones. <laughs> Zoti could probably get consecrated ground going as well here, which would work pretty well. Uh, yeah. I'll teach you. There's a okay. weapon. <laughs> Let's get that going. What the? Okay. <laughs> um, hit this one again. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. The mobilized and stuff is good. That's good. That dog won't hunt. Right. So now we're just on these ones. So we should actually be able to take them down. Raw damage. Yeah. Hit them with raw damage. <laughs> That Show them very how well, it's done. Hopefully. <laughs> Maybe. It seems like they just have a ton of health. That's our main issue here. We do is raw damage again. There's nothing stopping us. Yeah. Okay. Do it again. Actually, it does seem like they took a lot of damage from this. Yeah, and they did again. Okay. It's down. Next Warden of the Cake. Oh, it also draws them in when you kill it. There's okay. something you don't see every day. Yeah, interest. Oh, well, we'll grab the loot. And we'll have oh. a look at this. The statues depict the stern visages of Astuana rulers. Scourge, kill it. Please don't summon anything. And that's how it's done. Thank you. Appreciate it. I'll just have to try right. something else. Uh, yeah, why don't you use your blind? <laughs> How do you like that? Nice. Strike the bell. Yeah. Solo, our damage is like one on one. Our damage with our rogue is just insane. Yeah. Okay. We can take down any one enemy very quickly. All right. Definitely use devastating blow for the kill. Try this. Nice. Yeah. Just exploded it into loot. Okay, so we got one of these fish. I got this. We to the back to the shattered passage, so it's back to the original bit, and then we got the seat of this extravagant throne has been buffed to a bright sheen by a long succession of royal posteriors. Oh, interesting. We'll head back to the drowned kingdom. Guess that's just a way if you want to head out. 
Hmm. Oh, and it's the end. Oh, maybe there's a fight here? And that's why it's given us a way out? It's if we need to leave, there's our leaving opportunity. And what have we got? We got Current's Rush. Which is a wand of some kind? Wait, is it? Something. Anyway. Um, chance of doing crush damage on AoE upon scoring a crit and 1% hit, uh, hit to crit every 1 seconds and it reset upon hitting a successful crit. According to legend, an ancient water shaper of Akaizo forged a scepter on the ocean's floor. They carved the shaft from the finest sand of wood. For the tip, they sought rare pearls shaped with a skiff-sized mollusk over 3,000 years. Over a thousand years. Only through Andra's blessings was the water shaper able to pluck it from the creature without being consumed whole. The scepter is said to be part of a ritual for pleasing Ngati, though, uh, though the details of this lecherous affair are lost to time. Okay, that then brings us back here. Is, have we missed a soul? Fragment? Is there somewhere? We haven't been up there. Don't know if we can get up there. Just seeing, is there any soul fragments we missed? We haven't missed any of this area, have we? Maybe this bit? Uh, well, no, if we reverse water flow, that's not going to fix that bit, is it? No, because that's going up. So if we reverse, it's going to go down. Wait, are we done here? Hey there. Not really sure. I was expecting we'd find all the pieces of the soul. Maybe we need to head back in and then maybe the water is down? Hmm. Kind of thought that this thing was going to end it. Okay. We got this water area down the side here. We can definitely go to. Magnificent structures worn by time and catastrophe fade into the void below. Or beyond, or below? Yeah. The toad. There is no way to enter the water. But that is where our last spirit is. Hmm. So maybe there's something I'm missing. Some way that we can change that. Because water's flowing down from somewhere. Maybe we need to get water to flow up from somewhere. Where is it flowing down from? I need to figure out where that is. Is that there, maybe? The water's flowing up. Flowing up. Flowing down from there. Seems unlikely. Maybe it's in this chasm? Hmm. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure at all. Hey there. It's very odd, given how the rest of it went. Be right there. This doesn't seem to connect to anywhere in particular. Maybe it's somewhere. Maybe I need to go to the Shattered Passage, and that tells me how to get what I need. Hmm. This is the Shattered Crown. That takes me back to the beginning. Well, that's not right then. That's literally a reset. Okay. Well, we'll head in here. I guess we'll click on this one. Watch and learn. So we've now filled that pool again. Okay. It's not really clear, is it? This one is flowing up, which I think is good. Yeah, we can't go over there. Oh, we changed one. Let's have a look. Have we fixed it? Not very clear at all, really. Now we can walk through this area. Maybe they all have to be go the other direction? Like they all have to be filled? That can't be right, because some unfill as we go through it. Hmm. Yeah. So even if like, yeah, some unfill when you click them. 
wonder if we're meant to have worked out where this is meant to be. Oh, we did it. Good. Glad I didn't have to solve that one. I, I, I had no trouble. idea what was happening. Those are enemies. It's fine. Consider it done. Grab that. Save. Head down the end. Keeping an eye out. Might as well just walk up. Fight him. I'll teach you a lesson. Glory be to gone. Right. So these guys all weak to electricity. They are indeed. We'll chuck that in there. Well, they start shooting them. Love right. our room. <laughs> Nice. This thing isn't the doing the job. Damage was good. Um, attack. All right. Uh, lightning damage. Keep going. Right. Okay. Killed one. Move them there closer. You don't see every day. Uh, I'm just gonna get Eddie or to charge the one at the back. We can. Uh, do we have another lightning? We do not have another lightning. Well, we might as well do use our uh, CC. Lava room beyond seek. Nice. The planks, right. the petrified, are all good. Nice. Good amounts of damage. Yeah. Don't really stand much chance against us now. Okay. No can do. Mm -hmm. And kill. I guess it's because they can't see from that far away. Interesting. Nice. Grab the loot. Do a quick save. Sure. And let's see what's going on. We get the twin eels. Okay. Bonus to hit to crit chance with twin eels. Chance increases with the wielder's religion skill. AoE heal upon scoring a kill. And that increases with the wielder's skill. Interesting. I don't think Palagina actually has any skill in that. Like, I don't think she, she's the only one who uses two-handed swords. Does she have any religious skill? She's got nine. That's not bad. Not bad at all. What's her current weapon? Oh, yeah, it's this mace that increases action speed and stacks uh, minus will on a target. Yeah, why didn't she use the uh, new one? Use the new sword. Twin, the twin eels, please. Please use the new sword. There we go. Alright, can we upgrade it? What's it do? Renewal. Grants renewal. Okay. Upon falling unconscious, the reviver is he uh, revived and healed. Ah. Well, given we have the ingredients, we might as well enchant it. Yeah. Why not? Can we make it... Uh, we can't give it legendary. That's just not possible right now. Yeah, because we don't have the ingredients. I think. Okay. That's good. Gina you know, has a nice new sword. I didn't even check the damage. I assumed it was good. 28 to 37. 22 to... Yeah, so it's much, much higher. Wait. Are we done here, then? Still doesn't feel done, if I'm honest with you. Born of the Rising Tide? I, I need to check. What we do? Search the Drowned Kingdom for soul fragments. We've been to the whole Drowned Kingdom, haven't we? Am I just missing a soul fragment? Did I miss one? Is there a way to get one to show up? Yeah, because we still have the quest to... Wait, is that Drowned King? I thought there was another way to the Drowned Kingdom there, and that was going to explain my confusion. Hmm. Interesting. I have no idea where it is. Whatsoever. Or any idea of how to uh, get it to appear. So we head through here. We did that one. Walk through here. I'm just see if there's any area we didn't go. We didn't go right along to the end here. But that's because you can't actually physically go that far. Okay, what's this tell us about the waterfall? Out of curiosity. Uh, magnificent structures worn by time uh, and catastrophe fade into the void beyond. Is that one right there? Hmm. Maybe that's what I missed. It is. Huh. I guess I just missed one. Okay. Sure. 
don't remember it being there, but I'll believe it. A knot of soul essence lingers before you. It shies from your touch at first, but relents when it senses the rest of itself within you. Its loneliness proves more powerful than its fear. Acrid smoke chokes the air. Fires rage across the city. You trip on a lump of shattered statue and crash into the ground. A sharp pain races up your arm. You are broken too. You stay there on the ground, too tired to stand, too tired to go on as your city burns down around you. They told you they could speak with the gods. You thought it an honour. When the bearded man you'd grown to trust activated his machine, half your populace turned to ash. Their souls were torn from their bodies like curtains from a window. They didn't even scream. But the outlanders didn't lie. They could commune with the gods. The gods descended on the city with flame and flood. They smashed your palace to ruins and drowned your ports. Scant few people escaped the destruction by boat. Those who remained died in terror. Except you. They let you live. In the divine cruelty, the gods let you live. The distinct bits of your soul coalesce within the shelter of your soul. All at last, the spirit reluctantly pulls from you. Okay, so now do we reckon that that spirit is at the... Yeah, it must be at the throne now. Now that it's pulled itself from me. That makes sense to me anyway. Let's have a look. Right. Not here. Oh, yes, it is here. Cool. The soul fragment dissipates in a flash of scattered essence, reforming in the shape of a large Amawa man, bedecked in exquisite robes and golden jewellery. My great hall stands open for all who would pay fealty to their beloved king. Why are you here? Greetings. Hmm. Welcome. The king regards you with one eyebrow raised and a smug smile just forming on his lips. Your Excellency, I have a few questions. I had hoped you would hear them. You have proved yourself more polite than most. I will humor you. For time. You have my permission to continue. Who are you? King Wingaro Owaturi I. <laughs> You've heard of me, of course. Haven't you? Um, maybe... well, yeah. Maybe in old stories. He settles back on his throne, dark eyes blinking rapidly. After a long moment, he laughs. A fine joke! Your kingdom predates Okaizo? My kingdom is Ukaizo. The jewel of the dead fire. No, of Aora, a city so magnificent it draws the jealous eyes of all the world's great civilizations. <sighs> it will make a fine inheritance for my many daughters. Lucky them. What greater gift can a doting father give than an empire that spans the world? What happened to your kingdom? Look around you. Is my hall not the picture of power? Do you not drown in luxury? Uh, say nothing. Ah, uh, have you finally realized you stand in the presence of your betters? Good. I say I shall hear no more impertinent questions from you. Do you understand what happened here? King Wingaru uh, crosses his arms and frowns, the picture of a petulant child. Hmm. To put it delicately, your highness, your civilization lies in ruins and your soul is trapped in Rimragant's realm. That is not possible, I say. My empire is the strongest in Aeora. No, the greatest empire history has ever known. My reach extends to the edges of the world. Kith, on distant shores, pay fealty to me, King Wingaro Owaturi I. You know that's not true. My judgment is beyond reproach by you, by the gods, by anyone! I will not take the blame for what happened! Do you hear me? I will not! Hmm. Let's see how we want to phrase this. Rimrogant could give you a final death, but he lets you remain here because you still have something to learn. It's a kindness. No. You made treaty with foreign soul shapers because you wanted the best for your empire and your people. They took advantage of you. Now, I think we're going for the third one. Though your kingdom fell to trickery, 
The Huana still thrive in the dead fire. Your legacy survives you. You speak truly. My people still make their home in dead fire. Surprise makes his eyes go wide. When the expression fades, it's replaced by a look of slow dawning comprehension and finally wonder. His features blur, then like then run like water off his face. What's left behind is the visage of an aged Amawa nearing the end of his life. The soldier sat, his shoulders sag like they've borne the weight of centuries, and once his live and his once lively eyes grow dim and distant, a shaky breath wheezes from his chest. When the bearded outlander and his cabal arrived in Ukaiso, they offered glory, strength, growth, and asked so little in return. My council warned me against allying with them. I called them cowards. Oh, do we reckon that he, the person who visited him was Theos? And that it was the leaden key? Oh. All that mattered to me was the extent of our reach. Endless expansion. Security for the Wana. A legacy none could match. I say it was my weakness they exploited. I believed I could stand against the tide of time. The tide that wears down even the hardest stone to sand. And and my arrogance doomed us all. He heaves out a great shuddering breath and can't quite meet your eye. You know what? We don't need his help with the dragon. Come with me. I will take you back to the wheel. Perhaps. Perhaps it is time. I say I am ready to be free of this guilt. If you are willing to release me to a new life. He begins to walk towards you, then pauses. His dark eyes watch you intently, curiously. Then he nods quickly, satisfied. With a brief parting glance, the image of the ancient king dissolves into wisps of floating essence. They float near your body and pause just beyond you, hesitant. Then, with something like an exhaled breath, they disappear beneath your skin. A new weight pulls at your soul. All right. I am ready. Like we're now shepherding people out of the realm. Of course. With that, I think we're going to end the episode here. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.